Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters and welcome to Lucas C's Model Car Hobby Headquarters. Where the heck did you get that I name I don't know, from? that was a long, long name right there. That's, that's too long, but uh, welcome to the show. Well, hello, my fellow car modelers. Let me flip this around. It, this is all kamikaze filmmaking here today. I have been over here helping Andy for a couple days now, but I wanted to come over here, and I haven't had a chance to get any videos because I've been just helping him out with this this thing. I'm, I'm so tired. Why don't you say hi to my peoples? Hi, peoples. He's <laughs> just. I'm dead tired. <laughs> <laughs> we have been we have been doing this for. A couple days and I, that's what I'm showing y'all holy mackerel <laughs> all right so grab oh geez we just keep finding more and more of those there is a lot of modified stalkers oh yeah we've been going through some stuff haven't we um, yes gonna, there is look at this We've gotten quite a bit gone through, though. Yeah, believe it or not, it's 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 messy. Controlled it chaos. But uh, yeah, we are we are finding stuff. We are, and I have actually looked in every one of these boxes. Don't ask me what's in there yet. <laughs> but we got an idea what's in this collection, and we've been pounding at it for a couple of days. And uh, let's spin around here. So yeah. I've been over here helping Andy for the past two days. This is actually my Monday that I go to work today in a couple hours, and then I got to work a whole day. And I wanted to come over to this morning, but I've been trying to get some videos in, but I honestly been helping a lot with figuring out all these kits that we got. And we started selling some, but I want to make a little bit of an announcement. And I know there's been some people asking, and I know some people got mad at this, but I'm going to have to let you know. This is an in-store only, meaning you got to come to Andy's Hobby Headquarters, walk on in, and get a shot at buying some of these kits. Of course, where we're at right now, none of these are for sale. We're still sorting. But we've been putting some out. I'm going to go show you. We've been putting some out, and they're for sale, and people have been coming down. But it's not going to be going on the website. The website is something different. That is a strictly retail website. It's handled at a different location at a warehouse. This was strictly his retail store's deal. So, and he's not doing any shipping. It's just, it's too difficult to try to ship vintage kits. I know that might make some of you upset about it. I had a couple of people already kind of complain to me that I've let that be known. What can I say? And you figure, why make videos? Well, because this is about model cars and what an opportunity to look at some cool model kits. So, I'm going to make videos. And Andy's going to make videos because we're just making some good content for you people. So, let me just show you some stuff. All right? Let's take a look. I mean, this just gives you an idea. I'm just like opening boxes and finding the craziest stuff. And let me tell you something. Okay, here's something like interesting. We're finding a lot of stuff like this. All right, this was put out by Model King, you know, a few years back, and I think it's getting reissued again. But this is the original version. This is the, the old 70s version. Got a bunch of those. Got a bunch of those. And, uh, you know, I could just... <laughs> You know, open random boxes and there's just neat stuff and we're finding a ton of these old kits this is actually just a box but we've got a lot of these old pit parts look at MSE products um, it's just I'm gonna be doing some Lucas kits but they're actually gonna be Andy's kits Andy slash Lucas kits so okay look, look at all that old stuff you've seen that in Andy's videos and we're just soaring through we have I have a couple of boxes here well, I say I have. I've been working for Andy. We have. It's Andy stuff. We have a couple of boxes of Camaros, like these these uh, late 70s Camaros. Um, there's some old, old stuff there. Look at that. I know there's a couple more of these petty cars in there. There's those resins. We had a whole bunch of those. We know what that means. But I got something. I'm calling out to all my fellow Savino's JR Builders Club guys. 
I got something to show you. Check this out. Mm -hmm. And I know there's another Cannonball Run one. There's probably a few more of these. But uh, holy cow. I know you guys have been wanting some Lagunas. Well, we found some. But uh, that's the thing is, just to let you know, is they're out there. The Lagunas are out there. And I know you guys have been kind of asking for a new tooling of that. But, uh, yeah. I've been, I've been finding them, but they've been going for like some crazy prices. So Andy's going to have them. They're going to have them in this store. Um, I know there's a couple more in that, but I just had to show you that one. Is, okay, so remember we had these. This was like the most recent reissue. And they're still sealed. Did you see? Round two did that. And then we got blessed. You know, years ago, everybody was so happy when um, Model King came out with that version. But what's really cool... Here's the originals, the old Cannonball Run. I know we have another Cannonball Run. This is the only original Pepsi car compared to, you know, the reissue. But who cares, man? I'd want to build it. But here's a couple of Lagunas. I know, I know we're wanting, we're wanting that car. It's really popular. Look at the condition. It's still sealed inside. The old decals. They're probably useless. They're not that great anyways. Who cares? There's plenty of decals available. But there it is. Let's take a look. And then there's the old cannonball run. This one was... Oh, look at that. That one's kind of started painted, but it's still... It's a Laguna. You can strip that one down and rebuild it. I don't know. We have another one, so... If there's any of you guys here in town, these we haven't figured out prices on these yet. But these are going to be going up sale pretty soon. We're still working. Well, I think we're changing this whole episode into something else. So, you know what? I'm going to cue the new intro. Welcome to another episode of, well, the first episode of Andy's Kits. And check this out. I found this treasure. And, boy, it's it's nipping at me. I actually have this kit, but this one's in really nice shape. What's cool about this is it's a 73, which just will never be seen unless they tool a whole new one. And I don't think it will happen. Because it got turned into a 74. But, uh, just, this is just the glass in here. I'm not going to totally take that out, but it's still a bagged kit. Look at that. See, it's got the more open window than uh, you guys who, you know, the reissue that came out from Model King that everybody bought up, which was a 74, and this one also came with a Laguna nose. I can't remember if the Model King version came, came with that, which was, again, the 74. This is where it's a little different. You have a different bumper and grill set up for the 74. I'm thinking resin conversion. Mm -hmm. and maybe a whole resin body because look at we got the the nose right there. You can see the, the standard full bumper nose is right there. And then yeah, for the the rear part. Again, I don't want to open this, not my kit. This is Andy's and I'm not gonna open it. But uh, somewhere in there I know I saw it earlier. Has the, the whole tail section with the two little round tail lights. Well, four taillights, round taillights. There it is right there. Look at that. That's where this is different than that uh, that one that came out, what, about 10, 11 years ago from Model King. So, there we go. This is one in this entire collection. It has not been valued yet, and uh, it's not for sale yet. And I'm fighting myself to not buy it. There you go. Well, real quick, I wanted to just show you guys this. We kind of peeked at these earlier. Just to do a comparison. Because it's just interesting. Because we have the original one from the 70s. And we have the Model King one, as you can see, MPC, AMT. This was the Model King one that was put out 
about, you know, I think it was 12, 13 years ago. And it's just kind of interesting just to see the difference in the box art, how they kind of tried to replicate it. I always thought when they came out with these, something looked odd about that box art. It looked very kind of cartoon comic book looking, where this is just was a nicer looking artwork. Do you see the difference? I just find that fascinating. You can kind of see a little side by side. Let's just take a quick look. Yeah, this one's just kind of bagged up, but it's all there. You can see the old yellowed, old yellowed uh, instructions, but look you at how know, all the chassis was black. I remember that they did the chassis black, and the bodies were just white. And then, of course, this one, the newer one, just did it all in white. There's no decals seem to be, but there's there's the old decals, you know, that, from the Model King version. But, eh, you know, it's just it, it's just kind of neat. I find it fascinating. I'm sure you guys do, too. We got we got a lot of stuff like that, like, like especially a lot of the, the uh, Model King stuff. We'll find the Modifieds, lots of Modifieds. This collector had a lot of Modifieds, and he would have the same car over and over again. And some would be Model King issues, and some would be original issues. And it was really neat. I just wanted to show you that. I think the last thing I'm going to show you here today is, is this. This is kind of cool. My favorite thing. Decals. Yeah, there's some plastic performance parts. I've actually got a place for that. But little J and J decals. Just, this guy was really into stock cars. It, from everything we find, there's a lot of that pointing in that direction. There's just a, just a ton of cool old J and J decals. Look at that, I haven't seen that in a while. Just a lot, there's some yesterday's decals. Some slicks, I'm gonna have to go through all these. I know, oh look at that. That's a cool old sheet. Oh wow, that is, that's some memories right there. I love the old J&J &J stuff, look at that. Hey, Wendell Scott, nice. We'll be going through these, and they'll probably be going up for sale. I rock. And just some cool tire lettering decals. It just goes on. There's a ton of decals here. Look at all these. The old J&J &J ones, how cool are they? <laughs> wow, there's a lot of J&J &J in here. So... Just a ton of cool ones. Yeah, so, I mean, there's just an immense amount of stuff. Yeah, so I just gotta say, this has just been quite a weekend for, for us, for me. I'm a bit hot and tired and going through all these things and overwhelming. It's, it's unbelievable some of the stuff we found in this wall here. And Andy, he says for sure, when we get this all all done and said and said and done, he's building a fort. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And remember what we say here. This is me, Luca C. Keep gluing those fingers together and keep cutting that styrene. And we will see you in the next video. Wait! I forgot I got one more thing to show you. Check this out. And I know there's more of them. So we've got some ASA cars too, and they're sealed. And all three of the different uh, Camaros, and I know there's a few more Thunderbirds in there. We got those, and uh, well, heck, I'm just gonna take a little walk over here. I'm gonna try to be smooth. I don't want to get anybody mad. Nobody mad. I, you know, I get criticized, right, Andy, for my videos of your store. Yep. What are you saying? No. <laughs> I'm agreeing with you. Oh, I see. I'm mad at you now. <laughs> Everybody's mad at me. But hey, so these are the ones, and we've sold a ton of them.
here's something. I, I want to talk to you Salvino's Builders Club guys. All right. This has been talked about. We got it. And I, can you believe that happened? That's what's been talked about. Well, that's a blooper, isn't it? Keep gluing those. Well, what the heck am I going to do it my old way? Mm-hmm. <laughs>